This is brand new. So what we got here is uh, a, a, the ability to uh, go out to YouTube and pick up some cool videos that you uh, want to learn, uh, some riffs. So this whole program came about when I was really frustrated with trying to uh, find uh, segments uh, of a video uh, that I was interested in learning uh, some riff and it was very difficult to go back and you know reset the video and watch again and then you got to stop and go back so this is what this program does it allow you to go out and pick up some uh, YouTube videos uh, of people playing music that you want to learn so how you do that you go over here and you go to YouTube there's a little button down at the bottom and it'll launch YouTube and I was here I tried this uh, search here now uh, Michael D Miranda has some great videos on percussion uh, Latin percussion and I, I was really interested in trying to learn this this bongo riff so how do you share a video so basically you find the videos that you're looking for you see these three dots over here the share well, there's there's a couple ways that you can share but that's the easiest way so you press share and you will see that the riff grabber app shows up in the list of shared icons you share that and the video now gets saved to your library so we're going to go into the library and i I've, i know that this uh section of the video that i was looking at was oh let's say it was around 2 230 or so so we'll start the the video at 226 so it'll roll along here and what i can do is i'm going to pick out that little section of the video that i'm interested in studying and it allow me uh, to go out and set those what we call in and out points or the start and stop points and to do that we're going to just uh, click on the touch the little button here of, uh, uh, of the in point and the out point and we'll be able to lock in that little thing so i know this video uh, his uh, little riff starts at about 2.30, and so I'm going to watch here, and I'm just going to tag these as the video rolls along. Oh, we got moved along here. I must have pushed the button. Let's go back here. There we go. Let's try that again. Here we go. And so on, I will continue to play the Martillo. In a slow tempo, it's like this. Start. Okay, then we stop. So, thank you, thank you very much, Michael, for that great uh, uh, lesson. So now what we have here is we've marked where the video starts and where video stops. Now, if I go back uh, to play mode, uh, what you can see is that I can play the clip once, and what it'll do is it'll cue the video up automatically to that spot, and it'll start. So it starts there. So now if I'm interested in like, you know, the, the frustration was that it took me several times to, you know, kind of watch this and make sure that I understood what he was doing. So we have a loop mode. Now what we can do in loop mode is this will continually just play back from the beginning of this clip and it will continually move around and around. So what this did is it gave me a great opportunity to watch uh, what was going on with the hand prints and we can actually we can take a look at this in full screen. Yeah, that's... Back to the beginning. Yeah, that's... that's the... And back to the beginning. So we can watch this as many times as we want. So, um, you know, this is a, a, a great uh, opportunity to, uh, to uh, do some study on some great riffs out there. So what else I can do in edit mode is I can, I can tag this. So I want to say this is the Martillo. A-R-T-I-L-L-O. Then maybe I want to put a few notes in here. Uh, started... Uh, you'll notice that the title I uh, entered in here 
uh, now shows up um, on the listing of the, of the video so I can kind of keep track of it. So another kind of cool feature about uh, the, the riff grabber is that ra let's, this, this video here has you know lots of uh, tunes, like 100 of the greatest uh, guitar riffs out there. And uh, so if I want to find another one in here and I want to learn that one as well, um, rather than go back out to YouTube and uh, look for that video again, I can duplicate any of these just by holding down um, the, the icon. I hold it down and it says, do you want to duplicate this and say yes. And so what this will do is it'll duplicate that one and I'll click on it. Another section of that clip, you know, I can do the same thing. I can just kind of go in here and edit it. Um, let's see, Metallica. Yeah, we knew it was about 1, 215, so I can put a little note in here. We'll go to edit mode. Uh, it's not CCR anymore, it's Metallica. So we're going to mark this when it gets to the end here. Beautiful. Okay, so now again, same sort of thing. Uh, I've put in the Metallica, I can put in my notes, and I go back here, and now I can just add this to my library. All right, here we have a, a new feature that we've added to uh, Riff Grabber. Um, what happens is that if you want to adjust um, the in and out points of the video previously to this change, is that you'd have to use the um, timeline on the YouTube video, and you could move it. And, and actually, that kind of gets tedious because you can't really get fine precision control on exactly where you'd like to cut that clip. So for example, here we're going to just run this little clip and I'm going to show you what we mean here. Okay, so for example, in this clip, we, what we're interested in uh, learning this Megadeth rip, riff here. Uh, but we don't want uh, any of the previous clip um, the playing. So what we can do is we can go in and we can go into edit mode and we can, we can finally adjust the in and out points uh, to actually right down to the second. So how to do that is you just actually hold down and now you get the fine trim control editor and you can increment and decrement uh, the start and stop points by uh, right down to the second. So we want to trim that one up in a little bit. So let's uh, give it a two or three seconds here. We're going to save that and uh, let's go back and see where we're at on that. Okay, we're not quite there yet. Maybe we need. Uh, yep, we want to get a little, a couple more seconds off. So let's. Let's trim that off a little bit. One, two, let's try that. Uh, if you want to cancel out of that, you just cancel and go back and you can uh, start over again. So let's go to edit mode and we want to trim this a little bit further. So let's hold that down. Let's say one, two, 52. Let's try 52 and let's save that and let's see where we're at with that one. All right, so now we can, uh, by just pressing and holding down the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, in the edit mode, just pressing and holding down, that's going to pop up the fine trim control, and then you can uh, trim that clip to exactly uh, where you want it. So the uh, free version of Riff uh, Grabber allows you to call a collection of uh, up to 10 of these clips. Uh, if you want to uh, upgrade to unlimited uh, number of clips, 
uh, you can do that. It's a buck and a half, and then you can have all the one-time fee, buck and a half, all the clips you want, all the clips you can add. So um, hope this uh, app will get out there and help you sharpen up your riffs and uh, hope you enjoy music a little bit better. Thanks a lot.